I have always been a huge football fan, which is why when I think back to my days as a kid playing my PS2, it wasn't a matter of if you were going to buy Madden that fall. It was a matter of what football game you were going to buy. There was actual competition. It was between Madden, 2K, and Game Day. And in reality, a few years before I got into football, there were even more competitors trying to get your dollars for their yearly sports title. Now, after Madden 2005, EA claimed exclusive rights to the NFL licensing, so only they could make NFL games going forward. This didn't entirely eliminate the competition, though it really weakened it as the people who came after the Madden 2005 era had to do so without the NFL licensing, and thus we saw some more creative titles, but without the NFL licensing, they never really had that mass appeal. So today I'm going to talk about all of the non-Madden football titles to come out during the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4 generations. Some of these will have came before Madden 2005 and have the NFL licensing, while others will not. Now I could have went even deeper, looked at stuff, you know, from the previous generations, PlayStation 1, SNES, NES, but in reality, there was just so many shovelware football games with the exception of like Tecmo Bowl and the early John Maddens that it's just really not worth going back to look at those. So without further ado, let's hop into some of these notable games from the past few generations. First off, a release from about 10 years ago, All Pro Football 2K8, which was 2K's comeback at making a football game. We're about three years removed from 2K5. They lost the NFL licensing. A lot of people have a tremendous amount of respect for 2K8. They think it's a great game. I always felt like 2K8, despite being on the Xbox 360 as opposed to the original Xbox as 2K5, it was really a minor upgrade. It seemed like a lot of the physics from 2K5 were the same, the animations were the same, the graphics weren't even that substantial of an improvement in my opinion. And of course, you know, maybe you think three years can't make a big difference. It's a whole console generation different. I've always considered 2K5 to be better than 2K8 just simply because it has the actual NFL teams, and I just don't feel like there's that big of a difference between these two games. Then in 2006 and 2007, EA created a game that actually wasn't a NFL game. That's right, it was an arena football game. They released Arena Football and Arena Football Road to Glory on the PlayStation 2. Now, a lot of people like to watch you play this game on YouTube. It does have some appeal that way. It was kind of a neat game. I did enjoy it, but overall, I just don't have enough interest in arena football and the short field. It just it didn't excite me in the same way typical 11 on 11 football would. Then in 2010, we have a personal favorite of mine, Backbreaker. Now, Backbreaker is absolutely legendary to me and holds a really important place in my heart because Backbreaker got NFL rosters through their very in-depth team creation system. Basically in Backbreaker you could create a team even all the way down to creating the layers of the logo. If you're familiar with the Call of Duty Emblem Creator, it was a system very similar to that where you could create a logo in game, put it on the helmet and go from there. Well a group called Rate Sports actually created the entire NFL including accurate rosters in this. And for a few years, Backbreaker was my main go-to NFL game. It had current rosters, it had the actual teams, it had a franchise mode, and the physics to this day still blow me away. Maybe not as much as they did back then, but the physics were really legit. The graphics looked great. The one thing I did hate is every single player had like the Cam Newton style visor on their helmet where you really couldn't see their eyes. I always felt like maybe that was just some lazy animation. Then in 2005 and 2008, we saw two releases from Midway for a game called Blitz. Not to be confused with NFL Blitz, simply called Blitz or Blitz the League. Blitz was a game where you basically took control of a dying minor league football team and you tried to make them be great again and work them up the ranks of minor league football teams. All the teams, all the players were fictitious, 
but it was awesome to see the on and off the field stuff that Blitz brought, as well as just the cool customization that you could put on your team. You could buy gloves that were better than the regular gloves. You could buy shoes that helped your characters run faster than the regular shoes. So you had this upgrade, almost sort of a small RPG element to the game while you were building your team back up. And then of course the NFL 2K series, 2K5 being that legendary, came out $20 at retail game that so many people still love. And we do still see updated rosters for, even though it's a couple generations of consoles old. 2K5 has, you know, graphically not held up the best, but the gameplay and the animations just still seem like they're almost up to par. And then the NCAA football series. This was something that EA made up until NCAA 14 when they discontinued it due, just like to all pro football 2K8, a lawsuit. College players were upset that their likeliness was being put in this game while they were not being compensated for it. Even though their names weren't attached, you knew that the 224 pound, six foot one quarterback from this college was that guy because it looked just like him and all of the schematics fit. And then another series from the early 2000s, even the 90s, the arcade era, NFL Blitz. Now this is the true NFL Blitz action. You had small teams, you had this fast hitting action that really emphasized on, like I said, the hits. And this was something that Midway did a really good job of. And it's, I think, one of the great reasons why they transitioned so well into the simply Blitz franchise was because Midway took what they learned from making NFL Blitz, realized they couldn't make NFL Blitz anymore because they didn't have the license, and did their own thing from there. Also in the early 2000s, Xbox users got to play something called NFL Fever. EA would not support the original Xbox initially, so because they would not move their sports titles onto the original Xbox, Microsoft said, you know what, it's not that hard, we'll make our own football game. Now I do think that you could argue that the early NFL Blitz titles 2002, 2003, I think 2001 also came out, that these games may have been better than the Maddens that came out at the time. I think that they really pushed graphically compared to those. I think the graphics were better, the animations were better, but overall the game just felt empty. I don't know what it was about NFL Fever, it just really didn't have appeal. It looked good, it played okay but it just seemed like the game modes it just felt empty and yet another one from the early 2000s this was back when they were competing i'm talking there's a lot of people competing for your dollar on these football games the nfl quarterback club this was published by acclaim so nfl qb club 2002 was released on the playstation 2 the gameplay was okay in the regular game so that wasn't why you wanted to play qb club you wanted to play because you got to go down to hawaii and you got to compete in the pro bowl drills one quarterback against another basically playing a series of mini games it was something unique to qb club that we've never seen in another football game afterwards you basically could assemble a group of quarterbacks have them compete see who was the best one in each mini game and then also by playing the regular season games you could unlock basically these all-star qbs like john elway like dan marino who were retired you could even play them in qb club as well the game also brought some interesting animations um, as you can tell the players did get to have their helmets off during portions of this so they had full face animation with blinking jaw movement the whole deal which was really pushing it for 2001 when qb club 2002 was released and then as i mentioned at the beginning of the video nfl game day this was you know another one like nfl fever that i do think looked pretty good it just felt empty for some reason it didn't appeal to me i don't know if it was because there wasn't enough depth in the franchise mode or what it was but it just didn't maybe it was the commentary i'm not so sure it just didn't really appeal to me even though it looked good it just didn't do everything else right and then lastly the nfl game that i probably played the most nfl street this came out with volumes one two and three was published by ea under the ea big label it also got a release um, on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 as the awful game NFL Tour. But NFL Street was fantastic. 
you were playing, I think it was seven on seven football, and you could even do like pickup games where you could draft any player you wanted, just put together this quick pickup team. And the most interesting thing was players had to play both sides of the ball. So oftentimes it was a matter of, you know, should I take a quarterback who's gonna be poor on defense? Can I get a fast quarterback in the draft like Vic who might be able to at least play decent pass coverage? Or should I skip on having a quarterback at all? And maybe I have my running back, you know, I have LT throw the ball every single play. You could do something like that. So it was a awesome game that gave way to a lot of experimenting. It didn't have, you know, a ton of different game modes. Um, it basically had just the regular play now. And then it also had this sort of ladder system that kind of felt like the solo challenges in Madden Ultimate Team today, where you could unlock newer stuff, obviously without the microtransactions. Um, but NFL Street was fantastic. It's one thing that I've always wanted to see come back out and since it was EA's game and EA holds the rights to the NFL uh, licensing you know it's something that actually could happen in the future um, I've heard rumors that maybe it could and I'm really hoping that those pan out to be true anyways what was your favorite football game from the last 20 years I would love to hear it down in the comment section I'm sure it probably won't be a Madden title but I would be interested to know nonetheless thank you guys for watching I'm Bailey and I will see you in the next video